All right, it's nighttime now, and uh, got the accurate lens of me stretching this around. I'm pointing it straight back there into the turbo. This is the oil feed. If you guys remember the previous videos, we did that whole oil bung thing. You can see it. Yeah, whatever. Um. Yeah. So this part, it's like trying to cut it at. Stainless steel braided hose is pretty tough. Whew. I said I was gonna do the intercooler next. But I gotta put on the radiator. So once I do that, then the intercooler will go on after the piping. And uh, if you guys are wondering, I got this, uh, uh, we call it Evo X front strut bar better stability I guess but it's, I'm not bolting it on yet I also got coilovers so those are gonna go on with it I'll make a whole separate video for that if you guys want to see but uh, I've just used it here for uh, a placeholder so I know it can't go too high too low you know what I mean so yeah up in the cooler piping from my previous videos you would see that I painted that green it's a uh, cannon yeah so yeah that's that so I'm gonna try and get back to cut this and then round it off and then uh, clean it up and hook it up to the, the feed it's kind of hard to get to oh my job <sighs> I'm yawning like crazy yeah it's a whole bunch of fingering and stretching and yeah that so yeah alright so I cut that bitch loose that shit's sharp as hell so uh, yeah be careful guys um by the end of this video I'll tell you how much I actually cut off but uh this was a five foot hose I believe I'll go back and check this looks like I cut off a foot, maybe, yeah, a little bit more, like 14 inches maybe. Uh, yeah, so, you guys are impatient, you just, yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, so 14 inches, that shit out of here. Okay, so, this is it. We're going to clean this up a bit and uh, wrap tape around it and yeah we're good to go Whew. okay so I cleaned it up wrapped it in tape I know what you're thinking Donovan does everything has to be green yes yes it does okay so I'm gonna put the end on it now and feed it through I got this claw tool or reach tool or grab tool whatever you call it and I'll show you guys that soon too so what you guys would be needing would be a 4 a.m. fitting tool this is the push on one I recommend you get it from Amazon so you obviously just like the last one push in the hole now obviously can't do this with one hand so I'll get back to you when it's on okay so I got it on pretty simple way easier than that 90 degree bend one and almost forgot you need o-ring so o-clamp or whatever you want to call that shit uh yeah so tighten that when the video is done um this is my handy dandy reaching tool everything's handy dandy here right And looks like and when you squeeze it, it grabs. So pull the trigger. I'm pretty sure you guys know how this shit works. That is that auto zone, probably like seven dollars. Also comes with an LED. It's so, pretty cool. It's also magnetic, so if I drop any bolts, I can hook onto that. See, hooked, and it's also flexible. So, handy dandy. So I'm gonna put that on, 
and grab this bitch through here. So I don't hook on anything. And grab it. Yeah, boom, just like that. So, see you when it's finished. Alright, so I know I'm mixing up the videos a little bit. I said I would do the oil feed. But uh, I just remember that there's a gasket that goes in between. It's like a like a C ring, O ring, sorry. It goes in between the manifold and the turbo. So that's coming tomorrow. Um, yeah, so sort of wasting time cutting my coolant hoses and feed. Uh, yeah, so for the coolant feed, you see I marked it with the green tape. Um, about two feet, honestly, about two feet maybe. And for the coolant, the coolant return, uh, you see it's connected to the throttle body and then stretches along the, maybe about two feet too, honestly. Yeah, so when you go to the store, make sure you get coolant hoses. And if you go to AutoZone or whatever, they'll cut it for you. So tell them four feet. Cut it in half, boom, boom, two and two, you'll be fine. Uh, also, make sure you get clamps. You gotta run to the store and get small clamps. Like the same clamps that you, uh, that you see me put on these. The same clamps you see me put on these. Same ones. I mean, not too much bigger. It's about the same width anyway. Besides, it's extendable, so. Um, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um. Yeah. So, coolant hoses going on. Uh, if you was curious what kind of hose I'm using, it's a uh, 3.8. So, you know. For the feed and for the return. Uh, also, right? Uh, this hose right here, obviously, your PVC, right, connects straight into the intake right here. It's supposed to be a nipple fitting kind of thing, it's like a, it looks something like that. So if you was, so let's, you know, just in case if some asshole didn't sell you this piece with it, uh, yeah, you would have to go get something that looks like this to push inside there which I have to do, so. And I tried fitting this 3A toes on it. It's a bit, it's a little bit wider than that. So you just get one size hose, one size hose bigger, okay? So, uh, just put that back on. Yeah. That's for your PVC lines. I will be adding a, uh, what do you call it? An oil catch can? Soon, I believe for our cars you have to have two. One on this side and one on that side. But I'll do my research a bit more, so we'll see if we actually need two. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get started. do much right I'm going to the store and get those parts and call it a day all right guys so I dropped the turbo right um and I put this C ring gasket in there see this that circle right here make sure you guys have this so uh yeah make sure everything lines up now from here you can finally access your oil feed. Uh, let's see, let's see if you can see them up there. Where could it be? It's right down there. All right, so I know you see that green tape. So uh, yeah, from here you would reach your hand in here and spin it. So see what my finger is, my middle finger is? You just spin that, spin that on to the, Banjo nut that we installed. Um, yeah, make sure to get it tight. Uh, I don't remember what size wrench it is, but uh, I think it may be a 13. I didn't tighten it yet, so let's see if it's a 13. Yep, 13. So, yeah. 
use that, tighten that up, and then put the turbo, you know, right back onto the manifold. Boom. Alright guys, I got the turbo bolted up, everything properly. Oh yeah, by the way, I said it was a 13, it's actually a 15. 15. Uh, yeah, so make sure that's screwed on tight onto the... Let's call my hair. Make sure that thing... Make sure it's screwed on tight, that's all I can say. Oh yeah, also, move it around so it's above the silver right... You, you obviously see the green tape, and you see how it's, it's above uh, that silver bar right there, silver pipe or whatever that is. Make sure it's above it, so it's not bending or anything. Because if it was, you would uh, have major problems with your feed lens. So make sure it's above it. You can uh, try and experiment with the 90 degree fitting, 4 e and fitting, but uh, I don't. It might work. Might not. I don't know. Might be pushed up against that silver bar, but you can try it. So. Uh, yeah. So, I got that stuff in. Okay. So, I got the oil feed done, coolant feed, and return done. Time to get the uh, oil return done. And for this, it's a big project. This one, we have to unbolt uh, we call it unbolt the oil pan and then drill a bung in it and then tighten it, gasket seal it so nothing leaks and then yeah, call it a day and then we and then we can run our whole feed then we call it a day so that's that alright so I'm taking off the oil pan and I got my niggas with me Back on the back on the scene, trilogy. I know y'all miss me. I know y'all miss me. Nigga, trilogy. I know y'all miss me. I know y'all miss me. Oh, shit, put a fire. This nigga. Okay, okay. Um. Anyways, what's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Thumbs up. How many views did we get? How many views? I think the most right. on my video so far. Like, I think it's a, it's a lot. It's like a hundred. Oh shit. A hundred. So this is Jay, and this is Jay. Yeah. Um, Jamie. Nah, it's J. And, and then when it, what, when the other J come out, it's just J, J, J. The other J's honchos. Honchos? <laughs> nah, you, you really think he's gonna put honchos on this car though? Probably. Probably not. Okay, back to what we. Feet, back to what we originally came for, right? Uh, there's a whole bunch of these yeah, bolts. Oh, these are 10 millimeter bolts, right? These come off. There's like a whole bunch of them. And then the bigger ones are 12. The bigger ones are 12. So, <laughs> once we drop that off. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sick of this one. I told him I was okay. Oh, alright. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back when we drop this off. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back by myself again, and uh, yeah, so we got all the bolts on this, right, and then there's this bracket right there, right, the only way to get this bracket off is if you lose this bolt in the water pump, I believe it's a water pump, thanks for that yeah, it's a better view, you see this, bolt goes all the way through into the that uh to the clip so the housing that holds that so um yeah it's gonna be a bitch to come off I recommend using heat everything loosens up with heat except you know gas bolts but whatever um yeah, so I'll be using this and that to remove that. I'll come back when it's all done. Alright, we got my brother helping me. Alright. So, yeah, you would burn that part. Try not to burn the belt. And you would turn this. Without, without adding the heat. The 
comes really hard, really choppy. So you have to add the heat so you can turn it. Shit is crazy. It's crazy. And then you repeat the process. Just like that. Alright, so we got that piece off. And see? Freeze up opening space to those two bolts. Couldn't get two from before. That's the piece. That shit's burning hot right now. So, yeah. Before you pull these off, uh, make sure you have like a, an 8 a.m. stainless steel braided hose and line it up to where it comes off the turbo, where the oil return comes off the turbo, and where it will go into the oil pan. Into the oil pan, we'll, we'll be drilling at the highest point. As soon as I get under there, I'll show you where the highest point is. But, uh, yeah, for maximum, you know, return, you don't want it at the bottom of the plug where, you know, the drain plug is. You want it at the top of the, the pan, so I'll show you that. Okay, so we're in the car, got my goggles on, safety first. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys. Okay, so as you can see there, that's the oil return, right? Now that has to come all the way down and enter into the oil pan. Now what I meant by the top part, the highest most part would be here compared to here. You would get a better oil flow if it was here, right? Because uh, it would go in and then swish around, obviously. You don't want it to add in the bottom. That's for drains. It's like my camera's really zoomed in. Uh, yeah, so here, it would be perfect, honestly, here. All right, now, I don't know, you probably can't get like a good perspective of it, but as you can see, the oil drain, right, comes down and uh, the CV joint yeah, the CV joint is in the way. Uh, my bad. The steering column. It's like, not the column, uh, the whole axle for the front wheels. Uh, yeah, so this is in the way. So, what this is for, this is a uh, 8, 8 a.m. Uh, I think it's a uh, 8 a.m. 45 degree push on bung uh yeah fitting so it would go here right and you would screw it on let me just screw it on real quick okay so you would have it angled this way right so it goes straight around this axle and you would pick up your this is about a foot this is a foot long don't buy nothing else other than a foot. So, so this would go. This plug under here. Obviously, it would stretch around, and this shit sharp as hell. Uh, hold on, let me fix this real quick. Fix it in my hand. Okay, so this would bend this way into there. All right. Yeah, so obviously, go in there. And then this would go here. For that to happen, we have to drill a hole in the oil pan. Like I said, that's why I'm taking it off. And drill a bug in it, or you, or, or you can weld a bug in it. Uh, make sure you use a gasket sealer for when you take everything off and put it back on. And yeah, so. Yeah. That's that. That's what that 45 is going to be used for. Come all the way around. You see my hand is bending it a little bit. And it's gonna go right in there, about there. So a foot is enough. That's all you need. Stainless, stainless steel braided holes. A foot. So I'm gonna take the oil pan off and probably put my upper in a cool down. I know I'm kind of random with it, but it's like whatever flows. 
I'll do a whole drilling a hole in this thing. This video. You guys will see that obviously. But uh, yeah, that's that. The view from under the turbo if you were curious. Obviously.